Welcome, travelers. Welcome. Your characters have been on the road for, uh, if you're coming from Waterdeep, probably six days. If you're coming from Neverwinter, probably five. It is approaching winter. You are two caravans that have just converged into one, uh, where the Tribor Trail splits off from the T-Bones from the high road and heading east now. The two groups did not intend to uh, meet and converge, but they just decided they both been, had uh, one or two run-ins with um, some some low-level bandits and what they thought was uh, a recently attacked, uh, like an, an orc attack on a, a destroyed wagon. They decided to join forces and I think a couple of us talked earlier about where your characters could be from, uh, with which direction. Uh, so uh, you can use it however you like, but you are now one, traveling as one. And then later we'll you can decide which which order we're in when it matters. But uh, yeah, we, let's just kind of um, assume that over the last 30 minutes or so since this big convergence happened and like the people who would make these decisions, including yourselves, if you want to be a part of that, decided to band together. You've met some colorful characters and have now come to like a natural lull in travel and kind of are all near one another just for for the sake of storytelling. So it's uh, no formal order. We're just uh, and there is a comfortable pace. Uh, you can um, not smell the horse shit quite as bad because the air is now crisp. There's a little gust. Uh, everybody should be bundled up. Uh, it's uh, not. Uh, it will dip into freezing temperatures as the sun goes down, but right now it's not too bad. But it is approaching. Uh, the road uh, underneath you, the high road, was a bit more uh, worn, uh, or not paved or anything, but a little more traveled than what you're on now. It's it's still fine. It's it's a it's a good road, but on foot as you are uh, working your way, weaving between the wagons. A uh, elderly uh, black man with a uh, a working man's hat and vest and lasso around his belt guides the coach ahead of him. It's going and he's uh, uh, shouts next to him. Oh, watch out. I think old Ebner is about to let loose those steamer. Everybody move behind me. Wanna to move to the left? Grike's used to nature. He's seen all forms of nature. Horseshit doesn't affect Grike too much. Hell, he's not really gonna change where he's going. He's kinda walking up probably closer to the animals actually than everybody else. Grike is a turtle. He wears I'm not gonna say raggedy clothes. They're definitely not super bad quality. They're just not made from normal materials. They're definitely made from more natural materials. Grike's a druid, was raised by a druid all of his life that he dealt with people. So his clothes are more natural, more made more, not necessarily leaves per se, but definitely like a, like hemp clothing almost. And then he has a, uh, a gnarled wooden staff that he carries around that he likes to hit stuff with if he needs to. So dual purpose walking stick, focus and club. And then on top of that, he's also got, like in the little token picture, he's got bear skin around him that keeps him warm. Old Don John, you would know his name by now. He's, several of the travelers have addressed him. and You've heard his name. He's, this is Don John Raskin. Good to see all of you. So friendly toward the horses here. A lot of times uh, we get adventurers, they seem like they, they just uh, got a, a awkward demeanor around the animals, especially beasts of burden. But uh, we like, we like, uh, Folks who don't treat treat people uh, no different than them around here, including the including the help the horses. And then uh, who might you be? What was you saying earlier? You, you uh, don't remember how you got here? What was? And Tyrion, he looks to your way, and, and he and what you got there on your head, boy? Well, uh, oh, they're kind of like rocks, uh, sort of like geodes, I, I'd say. Um, I'm Tyrion. I uh, I don't really know how I ended up here, but uh, you guys saved my life. I'm indebted to you guys. Uh, whatever I can do to just basically uh, entertain you right now, I'll do it because I don't have anything. Uh, I've got a couple of coins. I don't know what these daggers came from or anything like that, um, but 
I know I got some sparks on me, so whatever you need, I'm here for you. Kieran is an air genasi. He does have geodes growing out of his head. They're basically, you know, on the outside, they just look like a rock. On the inside, they're like rubies almost, and they're really vibrant. Blue skin. On the back of his head, he's got a ponytail that comes up way high and way down uh, past his butt, basically. Uh, right at, at the tip of it, it's black. And from the root of it, all the way down it, it's like a storm cloud. So it's hair, but it's also forming a storm, like a cumulus cloud, if you will. Not not poofy, uh, swooshes. And they're always kind of flowing in the from the root down to the bottom. And at the bottom, that's where the storm is. And it just kind of rumbles there. Uh, those those geodes again they just kind of shine when he was picked up by the caravan they immediately noticed that he had scars coming from his eyes and kind of like tears coming down his face streaming down and it's it's almost like a a living kind of scar it's almost like a um like a seafoam green where his his skin is blue but kind of like a seafoam green and it's almost electric and it it just kind of radiates uh, it doesn't hurt me at all. It's just kind of, it's weird. It's kind of like a numbing feeling. I don't know where it came from. Uh, you guys picked me up and kind of dusted me off. I had kind of sparks and butterflies literally coming out of my ears, kind of just like happening. But again, I had these two daggers. They feel natural in my hand. They're like formed uh, and it's like a, a kookery and it looks like this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Visual aids. Yeah, Love so, nice. Oh fuck. Oh fuck yeah. Beautiful. Hell yeah. There's two of these. Yeah, mine uh, looks like I, that too. They you know, I've got two of them. I hold them like this. I can kind of swing them around. Um not gonna swing it around. But they feel great. And I can twirl them, I can do whatever I want with them, I can throw them, I'm gonna hit whatever I throw it at. I'm not cocky at all, I'm just confident with these things in my hands. Um Again, I don't know really what my background is. This is my background. As far as I'm concerned, you guys are my family. So thank you. Uh, if you need me to pick up that horse shit, I'll do it, man. <laughs> oh, no need, no need, no need. All right, all right. I'm going back here. We're, we're just happy to see you uh, back on your feet. When we found you, you, you didn't seem like you know uh, what which was way it was day? up. Yeah, what is day? And uh, I'm glad to see you stop floating. Now you're just walking on two legs, like 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 the good folks should. I mean, that's fun, right? And uh, what about you there, Mr. Music Boy, back here with uh, you, you with the uh, the band? I see the oh, oh, Christian. Sorry, before we got on, it was like uh, one of the groups you've been traveling with. They are the 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 Eatles before A. Was it the Eatles before A? <laughs> And, the uh, Eatles B4A? The Eatles B4A. Alright. And this year, uh, this Joe Biden, he's, <laughs> he's our uh, his bandmate. He's, uh, some say, the most crucial. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and uh, introduce you. <laughs> oh Sorry. my god. <laughs> For, first off, I want to thank... Uh, <laughs> first off, I want to thank, I wanna thank my, my band. I want to thank my band. They're great. They're great guys, and let me tell you what. No, you're I great, Joe. I wouldn't be here without them. I wouldn't be here without them. Look, we got we got a few problems here around the Sword Coast. We got to fix them. And folks, I'll tell you what, we're not going to get them fixed by ourselves. We got to do it together. <laughs> and I'm here to spread the good news of, of love through my music with the Eatles Before Ray. And uh, I'll tell you one thing: I'm not getting anywhere close to that horse shit. Thank you very much. I'm Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the way he talks, but uh, it kind of seems, kind of feel like he just talks in circles. But that's all right. That's all right. I like him. <laughs> You're not bad. And then, uh, we got Miss Mr. Kitty Cat back there. I'm sorry. Uh, what was your name again, back here? Mr. Business. Mr. Business! Mr. Business, yes. That's yeah, just shit. We've all seen shit. We'll just walk around it. I just kind of step around it. Uh, Mr. Business <laughs> is a tabaxi. Uh, he's a rogue who's kind of uh, 
gotten a second lease on life. He had a job, wasn't working out for him. He doesn't like the structure. He just kind of wants to do what he wants. He stills and kills. Doesn't consider himself a criminal though, because he thinks that people have more than they need. And if he can take it and they're not going to suffer any ill harms, that's what he's doing. He won't take food from people who need it. He won't take items from people who need it, but he will definitely take from those who have too much. He recently found himself getting tricked uh, while running a thieving mission um, and essentially pretty much dying till another tabaxi took him under down into the sewers and nursed him back to health. And so he is now trying to stay away from organized crime, if you will. He wants to come across things in a way that he can justify. So maybe not stealing anymore, but earning. We'll see how it works out for him. I like that name. Oh, yeah. And he does cat shit. Like, he does do cat stuff. Um, I, I didn't want him to be, like, a stereotypical cat. But, yeah, he's going to chase his tail sometimes, and he's going to, like, <laughs> like curl up into his jackets and, and sleep underneath a blanket uh, when it's cold. So, yeah, you'll see him doing cat stuff, like, look at his butthole. He's probably going to do that, too, every once in a while. Perfect. Yeah. Who wouldn't? As my cat does that, but to her feet, not her butthole. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Just right there. <laughs> There's, yeah, as I said before, uh, maybe you... May have heard. There's a couple of characters that have stuck out before, but as Don John goes back to he, uh, <clears throat> and he clears his throat, <clears throat> spits and uh, reaches into his pocket, pulls out some pipe weed, and starts uh, loading his pipe as he's. Right, uh, right. Slowly reaches out a hand to. Okay. Oh, of course, of course. Okay. Then I'll try to... <laughs> Greg pulls out a three foot long. Takes it and offers to share the pipe with, with Don John. Oh yeah, well, oh, yeah of course. Well, that's, a, that's a fancy pipe there. Why don't you hop up up here? We can share. You guys need a light? Oh. <laughs> and it just your guys' pipe just ignite and it's red smoke. Yes. Oh oh oh. oh. <laughs> and nothing gets done. <laughs> no, nothing gets <laughs> done. Okay. Um, as you guys are enjoying your your smoke, you hear a woman's voice from the the carriage that Don is uh, manning. Whatever. I, I say, Don, how much longer will it be? It seems like it's been a fortnight. And uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Lady Bevan. We're we're almost there. I swear. We no, about two days now. About two days away. Well, that's why I feel like you said that two days ago. And you see uh, an elven woman. Uh, I said elderly before. That's not quite. She's she's like uh, probably, I don't know, 50, 50. And, uh, you know, she's still got it, you know, older to bear to sweeter to juice. So she steps out and uh, very elegant, uh, you know, the, the frilly dresses that, that uh, kind of Victorian style comes down. It's like poofy everywhere, but comes down to uh, the wrist where it's like tight and there's like the doily things that come out. And she's got like uh, the fuck. Corset. Corset, thank you. Words. <laughs> and uh, very, very elegant. Look, and in the, in the, the fabric isn't just you know, good fabric. It's a, uh, there is sewn into it very, an almost, there are, in some places, they almost look rune, look, look they're runes, but very elegant elven, clearly elven uh, designs uh, flowing a little bit, a bit, little bit like uh, you know henna in real life, like what, girls get the henna on the hands, kind of, kind of like that. It's so prevalent. She she uh, rustles to the front, and she's she's tired of sitting in the back, and she plops down uh, next to John, uh, Don John, and uh, she's going to join between Don John and Greg. Who are smoking? Uh, to it, the side. Okay. Is any of to her side. dress like trailing behind her? She she uh, has no uh, shame about just like kind of you know um, gathering it to one side and then hopping up there and and you, it's a pretty wide bench so there's plenty of room. Uh, I would say you know probably six foot wide so pl- plenty of room for you guys. So. I do. I do take a take a swat at her dress as she's uh, as she's going <laughs> up. Just a quick little, not like to try to grab it or anything. Just a little, like a little bat. She'll uh, swat at you with her fan. 
Uh, stop that now. Stop that. <laughs> Lower my ears. I also, uh, so I have like a, a pipe um, adapter like on my bagpipe. <laughs> and so, oh, God, uh, yes. Uh, nice. Yes. Pull that up. And uh, as like I light the bowl on uh, on the pipe, like this starts to play. <laughs> so I'm just imagining that we're all up on this first wagon, and there are three pipes being passed around amongst the three. Of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going backward. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mr. Business is just watching. Yeah. yeah. Well, Greg has not exhaled once. <laughs> it's just all in Yeah, so got, the individual stave of the of the pipe or, or the back pipes is all blowing out like different colored plumes of smoke <laughs> as I'm as I'm playing. I kind of look around, say, "What the hell?" I grip my pan um, my pan flute, fill each of those full, and then just. <laughs> 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 <That's so good. laughs> good to meet you guys. So I feel like at this point, we all have disadvantage on perception. I I have not partook. You're a cat. I know. Yeah. You're a cat. <laughs> you still throwing a catnip down my way. Joe Joe Biden is very quick to to point out. I never inhale. Well, <laughs> <never inhaled. laughs> oh, he putting on a good show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear uh, in the background a couple of wagons back. Uh, Mommy, what's that smell? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, a couple of hours passes without incident but and I should say uh, while you guys are traveling there's kind of a couple of scouts that are they stay you know maybe 30 to 60 feet uh, in front of you not that far they're not really good scouts <laughs> but for the sake of <laughs> for the sake of fitting on maps that's how far away they are <laughs> So, uh, and there have been kind of uh, trading in and out, you know. Uh, you you may have taken a couple shifts uh, yourselves, uh, two at a time, but just so happens right now, you're you're not uh, in those positions. So, but uh, yeah, a couple hours passes without incident, but then up ahead after a minute, um, go ahead and roll for perception. So everybody but uh, Tyrion up ahead, First, you hear it. You hear a sudden boop, boop, boop. I don't know what my mic's picking up, actually. So, but you just some uh, some light, uh, almost like bass sounding uh, rumble, but uh, um, explosions? Not really explosions. It's just like boom, boom. And you see. Um, the clouds uh, right uh, ahead of you start to uh, form and, and get a bit darker. It's been windy up to this point, and it is approaching dusk. And the the wind is not quite howling, but it is uh, probably uh, 15 miles an hour. This is right ahead of you on the trail. Now, this is an area you guys know if there's really nowhere else to go. There's either you turn around, you go forward, or you go to the wilderness, so what do you do? You proceed? Is this a sound that we could associate with anything? Like, is this something we've heard before? Yeah. Is it like an oh shit, or is this completely new phenomena to us? Yeah, would any, any of us be, or like have the history to know, like, what that sound? Especially Greg, probably. You would know that in, na in nature, there's usually not if there is repetition it's like birds or something and this is not this is weird like nature doesn't do what you're hearing it's almost it's a rumbling in the in the in the forward distance right kind of just slowly raises a hand to quiet everybody and just very quietly because he does, he, he's not very loud spoken at all very slow methodical as most turtles are guys this isn't normal and I'm, I don't see anything yet. I'm like, what's ready. going on? What's going on? <laughs> I'm going to say Greg's off the carriage now, but definitely has his uh, his staff in his hand ready to... He's not walking forward yet, but he's he's ready in case something decides to show itself. Don John, you guys were the third 
wagon. The first two kept going uh, as you're all experiencing this, and the whole time we've we've not stopped. We're still like uh, the horses are still moving. Uh, all of a sudden, you hear one of the the scouts that was up ahead <laughs> screaming. Oh, I think that's our signal to fuck off. What is going on? We're gonna go. Nice. Ooh. See. Nice. So, oh, if you wow. guys could please place your characters near Mr. Don John Raston, near the third coach. The Don John. Whoa. <laughs> he, uh,. Uh, what's it called? He stops the horses, and uh, so do the two coaches in front of you. And all of a sudden, you hear ah, a screaming, screaming man running toward you. He's dead! He's dead! Who's and dead? If you guys, it's, uh, it's who, died? who died? Better him who than us. Died? Turn around! You see the scout running back toward you guys. Turn around! It's the. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the guy, he just, there's a gash, he's a huge gaping wound on his side. He had a uh, bow, he had his, an arrow uh, drawn, but he, he, like, he's about to lose it, but he's on the ground, and clearly he's not going to be doing anything, and he just screaming up to the sky now at no one, just, just turn around, turn around, got it, Ugh. and he just uh, dies right in front of you. Blech. Damn. Okay. Bleeds out. Well, uh, so I look for children. I make sure that any of the children are like to safety. Are there any around yes. me? Yes. No. You hear? Uh, ah! There's uh, screaming in all the. Most of these coaches are just families. So, and as you can see on the map, there's not much room to to quickly turn around about face these coaches. So, yeah. If you want to, uh, yeah, go for it. If you want to attend to the the families that are getting out of there. Direct. Okay, so the closest one to me, I'm assuming there's a family, yeah? Uh, so, yeah. how many feet are each box here? And I'll say the, oh, uh, five feet. It's one personal okay. space. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm going to grab, who, uh, I look in the, the carriage here. Uh, I see if there's any children. So, how many children do I see? Are there... See. This one has two children and a mother, it looks to me. Okay. I tell the mother to, to basically gather any of the weapons that she has, and I grab the two children, and I try to get them kind of further back here. If it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, am I encumbered at all, or like... Are they heavy? They're like 20 pounds, right? So 20, 40 pounds? No, that's fine. These are small children. You can grab them okay. easy. And it's a young mother. She gladly goes with you and jumps okay. out of the car. Well, I'll I say this, least, this was her. I get him at least the carriage back if that's my action. I guess. Yeah. Okay. 30 feet, yeah. So they'll follow you. And I'll just... These are all, like, commoner stats. Uh, the commoners will all start to move back as you guys... We can see that the the fighting is taking place ahead, correct? You cannot see anything yet. You only see the backs of coaches okay. and some trees. The, your view is obstructed. I feel like I'm going to head to to where I can see and get a scope, see what's going on. I see that okay. you know, Turn over there, Scott. He, I feel like he's... They'll have the handle on getting the kids back up. I see that, that stuff's moving forward. Yeah, Tyrion, the 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 commoners see that you are uh, like kind of like a you know a first responder uh, goes into action. They just instinctively start to follow you. Okay, cool. Uh, I, if I may, I like start start directing them. Like, do what I'm doing. Get these kids out of here now. Yeah. Okay, so they'll do that. Uh, Greg, you want to tell me where? Like, you want to move your token? Yeah. Let me see. Are we in doing thirty feet, or are we in that? Yeah. Pool? Okay. Okay. Then yeah. I'm moving For up. now, yeah. Just because uh, it's I'm doing turns. Uh, okay. Elsewhere. Just making sure. I I'm probably gonna just be following uh, Greg, just out of curiosity to see what's going on. So since we're not in initiative order, do you want me to just go ahead and roll up there with him? Uh, yeah, if you want to. I'll be uh, kind of uh, standing behind, not necessarily stealth or trying to hide, but obviously not trying to make myself fully visible either. 
Okay, so you want to roll for stealth? <laughs> um, I guess, yeah. I guess I yeah. will just try to be stealthed. Um, let's see here. And I'm trying to keep up. Oh. That'll do it. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, you proceed forward. I'm uh, bright shadow. You... <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> okay, you guys are up there. And Joe Biden, what, what's Joe doing? Um, <coughs> so, I'm going to make my way, um, I think, right about here and just kind of stand next to the, next to the carriage uh, and just kind of watch for right now. Um, I do not have a lot of HP, so yeah. I'm going to take my... <laughs> Sit tight and assess. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take my opportunities as they come, and uh, I just feel like the safety's here with the wagon. So, uh, <laughs> I, keep, I keep everything safe. Kind of down here at the border. We don't, want to, we don't want to do what we call, rock, where I come from, rocking the boat. And so we're not gonna we're not gonna rock it, but we are gonna rock this wagon, and then I'm gonna fire up my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so awesome, you guys, uh, and we'll go back to okay. Let's uh, I'll just we'll won't roll initiative yet. I'll just keep going. Uh, Greg and Mister Business, you're gonna keep it, uh, kind of uh, stealthily inching forward. I don't know how stealthy Greg is, but Greg's definitely making his way forward. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, and I'm just, just I'm gonna kind of just I, I know in, in not in initiative order we could probably do this, but I'm just gonna kind of follow him, try to maintain yeah. that stealthy, uh, and I'll keep rolling for stealth, obviously, if you need me to. Mister Business. Yes. Your your cat ear all of a sudden catches mm. something up ahead. Ah! Ah! Please help! Please help! You get a bag! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you don't see quite what it is yet, but everybody can almost everybody, even uh, Joe Biden and back in the back can sees a flash Ooh. of radiant energy burst from up ahead. Whoa! I tap uh, I tap Greg on the shoulder. Or uh, do turtles have shoulders? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's like All a right. shoulder. I'm a human old turtle. And I tell I, I I think I think we should probably get out of here. I don't think this is going to be good. Nonsense. That's what we're here for. We have to help the people in the wagons. This isn't natural. That's why I think we should leave. This isn't natural. <laughs> That's the difference. I walk towards things that aren't natural. I don't run away. I'm not good uh, at running. I've got your back, unless it's going to get me killed. Then I leave. I've gathered that. Can I do a perception to see if I can see anything yet? Or am yes. I not close enough? Yeah, go ahead. So you see right up ahead a a mangled corpse of the scout that was up ahead, not the one that had returned, but uh, one that was uh, up ahead. Not <laughs> Bojangles. And, Damn. Yeah, the other guy. So you, not only that, you see a trail of blood uh, going back from behind him. Again, you hear you you hear a surge of energy. In a flash uh, from up ahead behind this tree, uh, that uh, from the source of the the blood, and you hear, "Get the bag, please, someone to help." <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, upon hearing, I guess the second round of help, Greg's going to rush rush towards. So, Greg, at least in Greg's mind, stealth is out the window. Oh, things are happening, so he's gonna go ahead and, and I would say. I guess move forward to until he gets to where he sees something. God damn it! <laughs> so <laughs> go ahead and roll initiative. Oh yeah. Up ahead, just at the edge of this trail of blood that goes behind uh, a tree, and these trees aren't very you know very well kept. Imagine like the bottoms are very filled in yeah. uh full growth uh, not you know not trimmed not the, part three wood trees right <laughs> the you hear a snarling uh monster type noise <laughs> and uh the, the the leaves rustle as the you see a a, a humanoid limb 
come forward and fly more toward the, the body that's already on the ground and out uh, from the the bush jumps a, uh, a creature. Okay. A scary creature. <laughs> okay. Do we want to go ahead and put Greg right in front of the creature then? Is that what I was about to say, did we move? Because you did say you rushed and then we rolled yeah. for initiative. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and and he, uh, yeah. this thing is, it, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, here we go. So well, now don't. Go ahead. Sorry. This creature, uh, humanoid, uh, covered in blood, tongue coming out of its uh, gnarling face, about down like a foot. It's it's abnormal. Nothing about this is is uh, if it was human at any point, all that is stripped, uh, pale skin. De- uh, decrepit, like caved in eyes, uh, tatters, barely tatters for clothes. Uh, it, it, on all fours, kind of thrusts at, at you in a wild, uh, snarling way, manner. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> all right. Um, and it is, well, uh, yeah. It's going to be uh, me, right? Uh, Since I rolled yeah, a 90 Mr. 20? Business definitely has the move here. Okay, um, I'm gonna move here and and roll for my attack. Um, okay. I'm gonna be attacking with my daggers. I take it at 25, probably hits. 25 hits. Okay. Uh, oh, did I roll a nat 20? I did. I did roll a nat 20 with my dagger. So it looks like I do. 12 total damage. Nice. And that was uh, dagger? Sorry. Dagger? Yeah. And then in sneak attack? Yeah. All of it's... Yeah. Nice. You want to describe your, your stabby yes. stabs? Yeah, I was hoping to, because I had this idea in my head already. So kind of like uh, I see this, this monster just, I mean, lapping his tongue out at, uh, at Grike and eyes sunk in. And uh, I see Greg just kind of standing there for a second. I know he's resolute in nature, and he's just staring at this thing. And I grab the back of his shell, and I swing myself around the side of him. Okay. And I just do just boom, boom with each one of my daggers. And then uh, after I stab him, I want to try to retreat back, uh, back behind him, kind of just reaching in, stab, stab, and then pulling back if I can. I know I'm probably going to attack him opportunity. I was about to say, do rogues just not get up tax of opportunity, or like that's at, at later levels he will be able to do that as a bonus action? But yeah. I think at level one, yeah, he'll he'll proc out an attack. So right. yeah, you get two great hits, and this thing, uh, it's definitely uh, takes a punch, and it, and blood pours out from from its punctures. But it is just like uh, clawing at you. It's like uh, insatiable. It's trying to get at you, almost like uh, it can't stop, uh, and it is going to. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bad Guy <laughs> going to launch forward as you're trying to sidestep and get out of there he's going to reach forward and uh, try to bite and that is not going <laughs> to does a 7 hit <laughs> no it sure does not <laughs> alright okay so you are able to yeah you're still sneaky you just uh, stab stab boom out of the way and he misses uh, as you go forward Right, yeah, he, he's slow to act, but when he acts, it's decisive and resolute and quick. So whenever the creature lunged to bite at Mr. Business as he retreated back, Right just brings down his great club, or his club, b- both handed just right on top of the thing's head. Nice. So we're going to roll, let's see. Woo! <laughs> that hit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and that's gonna be twelve damage. That's it for this thing. How do you kill it? Like that's it. That's it. <laughs> I would think it lunges for Mister Business, you know, but Cat's being quick, and it's not expecting this turtle to this turtle to move or respond. But quicker than others would expect, just that staff. Just there's not really a wind up. Just it comes down right on its head, smashing it into the ground, leaving 
a little bit of an impact crater, so you realize, oh, this, he, I'm a little stronger than I would let on just by my nature, I would say. Hell yeah, turtle power. Turtle power. <laughs> so classic. And, and just, I want to add, like, when you come down, could your could you go up as like a little bit, like, wham, just bam, like, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, awesome. Clayton, how old yeah. is Grike? Grike's technically twenty. Thirteen. What? So you'd be a teenage mutant ninja turtle? <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just make him nineteen, man. Just make him no. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So that that ghoul is no more. That is no more ghoul. He uh, smashed his head in, and uh, it went from completely ravenous, rabid, uh, full energy, ha, 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 to just no mass, no completely silent, no movement. I and slap, I slap Greg on the back. Say, how's that for nature? That's not nature. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, and right then, just as soon as you, as that snarling stops, uh, behind you guys, you hear more snarling, and oh, be careful, they come for you now. Oh, I thought we were going to hear Joe Biden behind us. <laughs> hey, guys, now, I'm coming. It goes to uh, Tyrion. <laughs> All right, so Tyrion is going to obviously see what just happened, like, yo, oh, freaking awesome, man. And then dash up as far as he can. So can you move and make an action, or is your movement your action? If you dash, if you, dash you double that's move. That's your movement and your, that's your whole uh, yeah. action. But you can go 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Or your whole okay, turn, I, yeah. I don't dash, I just go my 30 feet. Okay. And then, or 25 feet, yeah, 30 feet. And then, that's it. <laughs> well, I don't have, I've got a bow, but I, I can't reach that far. Can I? Can I metagame for a second here? Yeah. Why wouldn't you dash to us? What? We're not. We're not in. Are we? We're not in combat anymore, are we? Yeah. He said there's more that yeah. came up to us. So yeah, there's oh, two okay. more up there. You hear the swords? I gotcha. Yes, I hear the swords. <laughs> yeah, dude. Swords are okay. 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 hasn't changed yet. We're still battling. Gotcha. <laughs> Never mind then. I just didn't think you were an initiative work. Oh yeah, I see your initiative. I'm sorry. My bad. So. What do you mean you can't touch out with your bow? Bow should have a range of like stupid. Like 70? It's like no, 60 like, or something. like a oh, lot. 150. Yeah. yeah, you can touch out 150. With no disadvantage. Like you're still at normal advantage with at that distance. Mm -hmm. So I'm good. So, okay, so I rolled a hit, right? Rolled a hit. Is that nine? And we, you're targeting the closest the, ghoul? The farthest one, yeah. Or, well, yeah, the. Closest one here. I don't know if I can. Nice. No, it's a, you're not obstructed, but a nine okay. does not hit though. Okay. Never mind. I I go for it. So I, I draw. Okay. I go. Yeah. No. Yeah. This thing is like uh, having just heard the screech of its uh, you know uh, kindred, the the last billow uh, exit its body is now bounding toward you. So its its movements are very erratic, and even though you're uh, a marksman, it's it's still at a distance, and this thing's all over the place, so it just misses. All right. So is that Back. it for Tyrion? Um, that's it. Nice. Uh, goes us to uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. So I'm going to dash um, from where I am, which should get me... Up there with me? Yeah. I think I'm going to be... I'm going to say... Um, I'm only going to go 50 feet. I'm going to come over here to this side of the... Of the, um, the caravan, yeah, the uh, wagon, and that will be my action. But what I am gonna do, um, Sean, can I can I hide behind this horse? Uh, like with with uh, halfling uh, halfling race, you get uh, naturally stealthy, sure. so I can attempt to hide even when I'm only obscured by a creature that is at least one Dude, size. Yeah. I mean, I'm picturing it. You wouldn't even have to try that hard. Yeah. All right. Perfect. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna cool. kind of duck behind Ooh. this horse. That's my turn. And on that note, Mando has entered the chat. Back Mando. Mando! What's up? Flying in on a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> instead of describing your character. <laughs> we in the thick of it. <laughs> 
Ando drops in. So, uh, so yeah, here, here, I don't think we even got that far. Um, we are in battle. <laughs> uh, the guys, we we're on a caravan and uh, the scouts were fell into some trouble and were attacked and are both now slain uh, down and the adventurers have gotten the families out of the way to safety for the moment and have rushed to the front of the line and have just taken down one of the ghouls and are engaged with the others. And go ahead and roll initiative, uh, Mando. Cool. Uh, Job, is that it for Joe Biden? That is, yep. Nice. Which brings us to Mr. Business. I would like to move to this tree. Can I kind of climb up to like a low branch in this tree? Maybe like right there. Yeah, yeah. Use your movement. Yeah, to. Yeah, that's thirty feet. So just kind of a low branch, uh, right there off off the kind of the trail. I guess that's ten feet off the trail. Well, you could go if you wanted, like, to be over here, like ten, because it'd, it'd be like twenty feet there and then ten feet up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I just kind of want to like hide out in the tree and. Cool. I can't really reach anybody, so that's probably going to be my turn right there. Well, uh, I would say that you fighting the other ghoul was what drew the other's attention, so mm -hmm. they kind of just... They would have watched you do that. <laughs> like, go up the, up the tree. Uh, okay. Unless fine. you want to roll for, like, again for stealth, but it'd have to be pretty high. Like, to, uh, you'd have I to, mean, like, I'll, try I'll to roll. go into stealth mode. I'll roll. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't... I'm fine with that. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Let's be 10 foot up the tree. Then the dice. I mean, that's a 26. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as you uh, cut around this tree that you were behind, uh, you use your cat magic and do a little... <laughs> foo, 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 <laughs> little uh, slide of hand, slide of body, and uh, confuse the ghouls. And just uh, able to hop over to that rock there and then, again, up into the using your <clears throat> claws easily uh, <laughs> scraping to the bottom branches and are now uh, hidden for all intents and nice purposes. that's yeah that's gonna be my turn awesome. I can see you like moving like a panther right is that yeah. like oh well, I think it's more like a it, yeah kind of but quicker okay These panthers <laughs> rely on their strength this is just I'm just like a fucking urchin cat man I I, like just, I have cat. to be fast. Yeah, Bobcat is probably pretty good. Yeah, there's a street cat that just stole a fish from a Yeah, dude. And you, ain't getting me, you ain't getting it back. <laughs> I'm eating it as I'm running like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, Mr. Business, you can now see from your vantage point, if you look toward where the ghouls are coming from, you see uh, a cage on the ground, just by itself, a lone cage. Okay. And in it, uh, a small humanoid figure, but it's there's a, there's a it's glowing. You're not quite sure if the cage itself or something around it or something in it is, but it's there's a lot of glowing happening. Okay. Mando, brings us to Mando. Introducing Mando. Uh, so I come jetpacking in, landing next to this person. Um, is this is this one of the people in the caravan? Oh, yeah, she should have gone out of here. She's just, <laughs> they were here, they were out. So Tyrion oh. is, uh, escorted the commoners to to safety. So we'll just, we'll just say they're in safety. Okay. They are safe. So, run! There's fighting. Get behind me. Yeah. And I I come uh, up. Let's see. 10, 15, 20, 25 here. It's just the ghouls way out ahead, right? Yeah. Then I'll dash, or I guess I'll. I can get to here. That gives me a line of sight on on this guy. Yes, yes. And I've got a 120 foot range on my. Uh, so, so Mando whips out. Uh, you see him. He's got his shield out, and he's kind of holding it up, looking defensive. You see him quickly, uh, quick draw a what looks like some weird contraption uh, aims it up 
points it at this ghoul straight down the path and, and fires it in his direction. Ooh, Ooh but he gets a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you yeah. see that, and it's uh, like... It's like this cool thing that he does, and he comes in, he, he pulls up the laser uh, pistol, and he he, pre- he presses the uh, the trigger, and it just kind of, like, you just <laughs> sparks just come out the end of it. He goes, fuck, and starts fiddling with it. That ends his turn. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is his turn. Such a triumphant hey, cool I, hate, <laughs> I hate daddy ones, man. <laughs> From a, right behind you, as soon as that happens, you're like, "Oh, that's a nice contraption there. I'd like to see that <laughs> later." After after you boys, that's a pop all this stuff here. Uh, cool. Uh, all right, brings us to Grike. Okay. Grike heaves his staff, the head of his staff, out of the crushed head of this ghoul. And yeah, immediately just runs, moves forward about 30 feet, and is gonna smack the head out of this guy with the staff again. Nice. And no, I'm done. This is not natural. I don't like this. You don't belong here. Time to go away. <laughs> and it's me. Roll. It was a 13 hit. Uh, a 13 hits. Okay, and we roll damage. So that would be 10 damage. All right. Yeah, he just walks up and just wings right to the. I'd say probably just right for the jaw. This creature would be the good, good, good hit line. Yeah. So you you smack, you give it a good whack, and the it's already kind of slack jawed, but that you just took out the the whole mandible, just flew out like really easily, uh, right. so easily that it's almost like a tooth falling out. He didn't really notice. Uh, but now his tongue is all the way down to it, like his <laughs> belly button. Uh, still claws covered in blood from some, something before you. It comes uh, bounding, uh, still ravenous. And okay. there you go. Is that it for your turn? Yeah, that's it. Cool. So, uh, yeah. So right then, the the same ghoul that you're facing ha, is going to use forward with an attack. And I'm not going <laughs> to... Okay, so I've given up on the dice game already. I'm over it. <laughs> we are going to. So it's going to reach with its claws. So that was one. Uh, that's, that, that's his turn. He's just going to stay on you, still attacking. Uh, the second ghoul is going to come up and uh, do a bite attack. And the first one does a nine hit. Nope. <laughs> yeah, of course not. These guys suck. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they're just going to sit there like assholes. All I, I right. would imagine with me being a total, it's flavored. They're not missing. They're just, they're bouncing off the shell. I would imagine would probably be a good flavor for it. There you go. You're just like w- patiently winding up for your next beat down. And they're just like <laughs> scratching your shell. Yeah. Deflecting it easily. Uh, cool. Uh, the ghoul suck goes to tear it. Okay. So I'm going to take another shot. Do I have a do you have a clear line of sight to this guy? Typically shooting through people doesn't like well, ruin your Yeah. It does cross that square. Well, I guess I just gotta roll for it, right? <laughs> I don't wanna hit you, man, but I'm gonna send it. Just don't roll an Addy one. Right? Okay. Here we go. So what do I roll? I roll a hit for longbow, right? Here we go. 14? 14 hits. Nice. All right. So then... And which one were you targeting? The one that uh, was already... (laughs) Uh, Yeah, the one on the right. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, I sent, I hit him. Very good. So yeah, before you, uh, vengeance for your missed shot earlier. Uh, this one, you, you get a much better footing now. And this one is now engaged in uh, battle with Grike. So not quite as, you know, hippity hoppity as before. 
Excellent shot. Right? Uh, is that it for your turn? That's that is how far away are they? Is they in within? Okay, so I also have a spell. I've got I cast catapult, and I use. Well, can, do you have two? Do what? Oh, you have two. two actions? Okay, never mind. Then, you yeah, can move. Oh, I can. You haven't moved yet, have you? You have a move and a yes, bonus I action. I did move. Oh, okay. That's you have, I, I think, 30 feet 30 of movement, feet so if you didn't move the full 30, you could move the rest of it now if you wanted. I'm done. Okay. Later, in uh, as you guys level up, there uh, certain martial classes will get extra attack, so that will be a thing. Okay. Cool. S- soonish. Cool. I dig it. All right. Uh, brings us to Joe Biden. Okay, so Joe is going to... Run up here. I think that's my movement. 30. And so from there, he's going to pull out um, his trusty Ring of the Ram. So uh, the ring has three charges and it uh, regains 1d3 expended charges at daily dawn. While wearing this ring, you can use an action to expend one uh, one to three of its charges to make a ranged spell attack against one creature that you see within 60 feet of you. The ring produces a spectral ram's head and it makes an attack roll with a plus seven. God, fuck yeah. On a hit, for each charge you spend, the target takes uh, 2d10 damage. Fuck yeah. That's, that's dope. Yeah. Is that so? That is that to hit or? Yeah, that's oh, ten misses. No. Okay, so three. that's awesome, but ten misses. All right, cool. cool, 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 cool. So it does miss the ghoul, but the ghoul dodges it and it passes him and hits the cage behind him, shaking the cage. And uh, ah, why you attack a uh, Ipa? Why you go for Ipa? Ipa, Ipa. So, uh, cool. Uh, all right. Is that it for Job? Yep, that's it for Job. Okay, brings us back to Mr. Business. Excellent. So what I would like to do, I'm going to move from here to here and from here, and I want to land on top of the cage. Oh, shit. Okay, is that a... Hey. So jump? Jump. Do you want to roll for stealth? That'll be... Uh, I would say they're so, like, in, they're in battle, so it's okay. okay. And I'd like to uh, land on... On top. Of I don't know if that's possible. Like, it wouldn't jumping be Athletics. double movement. Mm. It's your call. Like from one tree to the next. That's you. Yeah, I mean that's up to you. If not, I can just. Or is it a strength thing? Is it like a acrobatics? In a- athletics or acrobatics? Athletics check. check. Let's do acrobatics check. Okay, so you want me to roll an acrobatics check from there to here? Yeah. Okay. I feel comfortable with that. Ooh. Okay, so I, you don't take damage. No, I rolled a one. Yeah. So no damage, but you do fall down uh, out of the tree. So you're at the base of that tree now. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, uh, I mean, no damage. You're good. Does that expend, what, 15 feet of my movement? No, we'll call it, it 10. no movement to fall. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, you just fell. <laughs> okay. Um, well, shit. Or you were like what here? I think. Still kind of skirt. Can I just can I just run to the can I just run to the cage? I yeah, if you if you did, yeah, I was about to say if you did it like oh, out of the way of the yeah. ghouls, yeah. As long as you okay. didn't. Yeah, I'll go here and then here. Cool. So. Uh, so bef- before you, uh, you can see a a small uh, humanoid. A mustachioed humanoid with uh, uh, he have a brown hair. Uh, p- please, my name, uh, my name is Ilpa, uh, Il Padrino. Please help. I, I don't know how to get out of this cage. Uh, please, the ghoul they, they attack me. I hit. Uh, I stuck. Please. Do I see a lock on the cage, like on the face that I'm at? Yeah, uh, it's a standard lock. Uh, you don't see a key anywhere. Uh, the the cage itself looks. Sturdy, but not like, uh, you know, I don't know, Federal Reserve uh, level yeah. or Saint, uh, Fort Knox, or whatever. So, I do not have, I do have thieves' tools on me. 
uh, can I try to pick this lock for my action? Yeah, yeah, you can start. You can start doing that. Yeah. Do you want me to roll a sleight of hand? Uh, I'll say just wait until next. Okay. Turn. If you want to start your next turn, having just accomplished that, we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll roll next turn. Okay. Uh, cool. Mando. Yeah, Mando's like so. He continues to run up, uh, in in advance of of get trying to get to these ghouls, uh, all while fiddling with his uh, laser pistol, kind of whacking it against his leg and. Pulls out a little tool, fills it with it, and uh, raises it back up. This ought to work this time. Fires again. And this is at the one uh, directly in front of. I guess right. the one on the left. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming a 24 hits. Nice. It definitely hits. Yeah. 24 hits. For ten fire damage, but so what? What everyone else sees is now the sink finally fires, and it's uh, it, it produces a, a streak of light that goes out and pierces this thing right through the shoulder, and seems to uh, burn a, a pretty deep hole into it. Nice, and <laughs> yeah, that hole is permanent, and it is just <laughs> it's cauterized. But clearly, the ghoul is boom, taken aback and like looks down at itself. It's already missing a jaw, so this is like it's not looking great. <laughs> this cool. I look at I look at Mando. I'm like, where did you get that thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. Well, all right, all right. Uh, Mando, is that it for you? Yeah, that's I it. hope it ended at the ghoul. So yeah, uh, it hits the ghoul, but it doesn't like pierce all the way through it. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right, up next we got Grike. Okay, um, after seeing this one that just got blasted, Grike's like, ah, I probably don't need to two-hand this one. So what Grike's going to do is he is going to <coughs> swing with one hand with the club at the one that has taken the jaw off and the fire. So we're going to do that, because then I also have... Uh, I can bonus action to swipe with my claws after I do that. Hell yeah. So we're going to swing with the quarterstaff first. Okay. That's a 15. Nice. Okay. 15 hits. Ooh, it's six damage. Yeah. Yeah, how do you kill it? So this thing's, like, again, no jaw, <laughs> big hole, how do you kill it? <laughs> so Gripe swipes the, with his staff with his left hand, hitting that one. And then as he turns, he swipes with his claws and attempts to hit the other one. So that okay. is this. I don't add my proficiency bonus, so we minus two from that. I'm going to do this. So that's actually a 15. Okay. 15 still hits. Okay. And that just does my claws, which is five. Nice. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the, this ghoul next to this one like just kind of taking it all in just saw his friend go down now he's uh, still kind of trying to react to that and then uh staring at his friend catches uh tortles uh this is it how much damage five five nice is that it for for greg brings us yeah. to greg, greg doesn't like to move very much we're good i'm posted up where i need to be brings us to the lone ghoul uh very upset he's going to Put everything into this, and he's going to attack Greg. <laughs> Come on, ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ghoul. Kill somebody, ghoul. Fort <laughs> Is 14 hit? No. <laughs> Bitch ass ghoul. Bitch ass ghoul. <laughs> All right. All right. Y'all are just in trouble for the future now, because now I'm just angry. And it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> These actually were lesser ghouls. Dozen ghouls. All right, cool. Uh, the ghoul stays there, uh, pissed off, and 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 uh, still a lot of fight left. Angry, uh, staring down Greg. All right, that's it for his turn. Uh, brings us to Tyrion. All right, so I just shot this guy. I'm assuming like in the chest or in the head or something. Um, I'm going to start running up here. I'm going to get about 20 feet. Yeah. And that's about 20 feet there, right? And as I'm running in, I'm going to do. Catapult. 
and I'm gonna grab as I'm running, I'm gonna kinda like grab the dead ghoul's head. Yes. This guy's head. And then cast catapult and chuck it at the one that's standing here. Badass. Alright. So Nice. Hey, so yeah, so the ghoul makes a deck save. Da, 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 da. Dex. Come on, ghoul. Mm. <laughs> going down. You're going down. You ghoul, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, what is it? Uh, 13 damage. Yep, that'll do it. How do you? How does this catapult? <laughs> yeah. Next so day. I, I have this this ghoul's head in my hand, and I cast it, and, just, and it literally goes through the other guy's head, and just, and just two heads with one. Yeah. Uh, for thematic purposes, we'll we'll call it like a, a pool table where, like, the ball hits the second one, but the second the first the second one stays. <laughs> first <laughs> the first still there. So, so now the second the first uh, yeah yeah head swap cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> second hand those Mr. stupid Business. ghoul faces. That's what I'm talking about. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, cool. Let me. As soon as I casted Let me add that, some more ghouls. As soon as I casted that, the markings on my face start to glow. Ooh. Interesting. Like that. Having all this all this down, the, the ghoul is now uh, dead. All these things have uh, settled down. And little Ilpa there is buzzing around in his cage. You can see he's got iridescent wings uh, coming from his back. He appears to be dressed in uh if anybody has the acolyte background mr business you would see this guy is clearly dressed in some kind of uh clergy uh garb if not you know formal uh definitely something they would wear he's um uh, near the cage is a uh mace uh that's pretty small it looks like a, a children like a child size and um uh, as well as a shield, and inside the cage, um, young Ilpa. Uh, have I gotten him out through my lock picking? Yeah, so that uh, battle is finished. So actually, as, as soon as the uh, battle uh, dies down and the, the snarls and uh, stop, and you can hear kind of the murmur in the crowd down, the, down back the way, uh, die down a little bit. Go ahead and uh, everybody here in this area roll for perception. In in which area, Sean? Well, everybody who's good. like near the. So actually, Job. I don't think you're I okay. That. You're back there. Okay. I like digital dice. Mister Business, Mando, Grike. Yeah, you three. Whoa! All of a sudden, off to the side, uh, you hear a twig snap behind you. And uh, a boar the size of <laughs> at least three normal boars steps out from behind a tree and just snarls. And right without skipping a beat, snarls back, and I'm going to handle him. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you're gonna <laughs> and you're gonna what animal handling? Animal handling? No, no, no. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> Nature. So he he steps forward and snarls, and. Uh, he puts his front hooves up on the... There's a, a big root coming uh, down from the tree he's near, and he kind of steps up on it, uh, very Mufasa-esque. And he, he looks at you guys. Talos will be paid. Whether you intervene or not. And he <laughs> stomps releases uh, steam from from a uh, exhale real quick and he just turns around froom, 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 running off into the distance and three more boars uh, all gar like the size of like a ca uh, bull okay. uh, take off with him froom, 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 and they're they're out of there well has anybody ever seen a talking boar yeah man yeah mando turns and says did that boar just fucking talk <laughs> Uh, can yeah. Mr. Business yeah. start looking at these ghouls for loot, possibly? We'll see what they've left behind. Yeah. 
Lando oh. will uh, approach the cage and look for a means of opening it. I already opened it. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah. Well, we didn't cover that yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. I thought you it. said yeah, yeah. that I did. I'm, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, that's what I was going to address that. Uh, cool, so, um, let me get these guys off the board. So, yeah, Ilpa. Oh, please help you. I'm not sure how to open it. I tried everything. Uh, I, I pray. I, I poke <laughs> it. I hit it. I pray again. And uh, nothing work. I'm sitting there picking the lock as he's talking. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, after a minute, uh, you're able to uh, loosen it. This was not like a magical cage or anything. And, oh, Ilpa steps forward. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Ilpa. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm Mr. Business. Let me get rid of this. Get rid of that. Cool. Oh, thank you so much. He picks I, up his shield and mace, and he so he hovers up above so that he could be eye level with everybody. Uh, otherwise, he's very he's uh, Job. He's even shorter than you. He's very small. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, thank you so much, so much. Who, who what, are you? What race? What race is this guy again? I have small, smaller than halfling in notes. Yeah. <laughs> would, would anyone? Would anyone have any? Uh, contact or interaction with if Feywild in their background, if anything like that, I have uh, they would know this would, feet, so this would to be a fairy. Feet, I guess. Fey oh, touched, wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I took the Fey touch feet, yeah, so yeah. I and I have the sage background, so yeah, I, I, I think I would know everything. Yeah, and, we, and you can on it to, like, make the Fey touch fit why you have it, you know, whatever, you know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, after he picks up his uh, mace and shield, can I sheathe my daggers and pull out my rapier uh, and kind of not hold it to him, but just hold it defensively? And why have they captured you? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I come here to this place from where I come from, right? And someone I don't know, they put me in cage and then I was on the wagon for a while and then we are on the wagon traveling, and then we got attacked. And I, I think there were some, the big man, they have like the, the teeth, they come out, and the pig nose, it seemed like they're mm. very angry. I'll, I'll kind of just interrupt and cut the shit. You know why you're important. Why are you important? Well. And I'll, uh, I'll ready my blade, like I'm going to attack them. It's, it's going to be, it's, I'm not going to, because truth be told, I'm, terrified of this guy uh but i can kind of roll a an intimidation or something i don't know i just uh, want him to i want him to give up more information. No, he's easily intimidated no yeah uh, oh no please no no <laughs> please sir uh, i i just uh, hear my name is Ilpa. no you you the important one please i just uh, hear uh I, I tell you the truth i i hear on purpose but i, I just here to help you and make sure everything go okay for what? Uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, that's see, that's gonna be a problem. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you're uh, fuck. Hold on, stay here for I don't know, thirty seconds. No, please. <laughs> I, I okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to the other guys. Uh, Sidebar. <laughs> <laughs> Dad huddle. Uh, uh, somebody else want to handle this. This guy's, uh, I don't know. They had him in a cage. He says we're the special ones. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just, I want to kill this guy because I don't well, know. I don't, I don't like him. I don't kill anybody, man. Yeah, probably not. No, that. that's probably a good idea. So somebody yeah. else should probably step in here. You mind uh, if I give it a shot? Yeah. Go for it, please. All right. I think I'm the least scary looking one here, even with the geos on my head. Yeah, the cat. Out. Go for it. All right. So, do we know his name? We didn't hear the name yet. Hey, yeah, man. It's what's, at your, Ilpa. Uh, what's your name? My name is Ilpa. Il Padrino. Ilpa. Ilpa. Where are you Are you a fairy man? godfather? You're a fairy godfather? Are you a fairy godfather? Il Padrino. That's pretty cool. So, so where do you come from? Where, where I mean... Where did you enter this cage? That I cannot remember. Uh, I know Princess Sarissa, she sent me here. 
because and now I cannot remember why she told me to find the adventurers traveling to the to the Fandalin. Are you travel to Fandalin? I mean, we're going where the where the caravan's going. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. The um, caravan. Yes, the caravan. Yeah. Uh, w- wait. So you're looking for adventurers in a caravan? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's kind of gray area there, but well, you yes. Know, yeah. Well, I'm Tieran. Uh, we've got mystery business here, Mister Business here. Uh, we've got Greg, and we've got Joe Biden, Job Biden, and we've got uh, what's your name, man? Was it? I don't think we caught your name. You just kind of flew in and started shooting. Maybe his name is Mando? Maybe. <laughs> I think it's Mando. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry, uh, I'm muted. Uh, <laughs> I, I flew in because I saw fighting. Oh. Well, that's a good, good enough like reason, to help. I Yes, yes, that's what I hear. I'm here to help a fight. You're here to help fight, but we were helping you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Well, um, yeah, I guess you're welcome. And so, well, here's where I, I'm kind of cornered because the plan was for him to heal you guys, but that's not a not a huge concern at this moment. Wait, so. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Who takes damage anymore? <laughs> well. I sent here to to make a help for you uh, after your first encounter, but uh, you know. <laughs> I think I think we're good. Do you have another purpose? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I go to a Fandolin. Yeah. All right, we're going to Fandolin. We'll help you get there. Oh, could I come to a Fandolin with you? Absolutely. Yeah, come on, man. I guess. Hey, we, yeah, we won't you. we won't put you in a cage. No cages. And you know, we might have a lot more in common because we both don't remember. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> remember shit. People we've like we've tried to talk to him. He just keeps telling us he's supposed to be here. I don't know really know what's going on. Yes! <laughs> you two get you guys become friends. He <laughs> friends with all the people. Excellent. Uh, I like this guy. Well, I just so happen to be heading to Fanolin as well, so I guess I'll join y'all. Alright, cool. And I got to check out that blaster, man. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. If anyone well, had, I start uh, to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone had looked at the ghouls' bodies, you wouldn't have found anything. It was they were just ghouls and uh, body parts. No, nothing special. Bullshit. Greg, bullshit. Collected all the ghoul bodies and then went and burned them off in the woods. He doesn't trust things. He's been around the world all the time. <laughs> I take a, I take a small piece of meat and I just kind of like I like hide behind a tree and I just kind of gnaw on it for a little bit. Nice. A piece of ghoul meat. Ghoul meat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever seen what cats eat? Like cats eat fucking anything they can get their hands on, and they're fine. Ew. That okay. is so gross. Meat's meat. Uh... I'm like, nah, I won't do it. What? Like, make, make a constitution. Just okay. No, it's fine. No, <laughs> let's do it. Let's let's keep it interesting. I'll do it. If I get sick, I get sick. Okay. I think I'm good though. I rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> so, Jesus. as a cat, what for you? <laughs> Tabaxi, their digestive system is used to seeing a lot of things, like a, a lot of random shit. So this is just the next thing in line. <laughs> so there, yeah, from... you, uh, you guzzle it down without issue. Man, man. You hear from behind the the the, the good folk. Uh, uh, yeah, you hear some some rejoicing, some clapping. The children are coming back out. Uh, uh, and they're rushing toward you, in fact. And the, the mothers are trying to stop them. But they're you, the little kids, especially the little boys. They're running right up to like Mando and and uh, Reich and and Tyrion and and all the and uh, Job with with the Ram. But like they're they're all obsessed with you guys now. And uh, 
they're like, oh my god, Mando, they're coming up to you. They're touching your armor uh, and your shield. Nobody's grabbing for your weapon, though. Yeah, just, I, I they... sheathed the, wet, or sheathed the, uh, the pistol. Yeah. And they now they weren't uh, super interested in you now, but now everybody wants to know your name. And uh, the the little kids are at your feet. The oh, oh what's this made of, sir? They, they they look at your shield and they're like, they're they're seeing their reflection in it. What what's this? It's made out of metal. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's metal. What what was that? That uh, that magic laser beam he got. What was the? It's my special weapon. It only works for me. <laughs> wow! They're all in unison. They're like they're all about. <laughs> cool. Uh, you can tell. He, you can anybody who's watching can tell. He's not good with kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and they're they're. I took the off the board, but the kids are also like poking the uh, ghouls with with sticks and the the mothers rush up and, and the fathers to like hey, get out of there quit, quit messing around to, to shuffle them back to the coaches so very good that's gonna be that was it an incredible for... role though I mean that was just yeah I'm gonna have to complicate <laughs> <this>. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine this is this is okay 